Okay guys, welcome back to Fidus Bar Home and Garden. Today we are going to make crispy taco salads. And I got these really cool dishes off of Amazon. They're kind of small, but they work really good. Um, especially for kids or adults, you can always eat one, you know, one, more than one. Um, this is what it came out to be, which is really nice if you can stick it, if you have an air fryer, you know. Um, so that's what we're going to make today. And all you do is you take your tortilla like this, um, no matter what it is. This one's a cauliflower one. You take your oil. I'm using um, avocado oil because it has a high um, melting point. And I'm going to stick it all over the tortilla everywhere. You also want to put it all over everything else in here too. If you have extra of it, it's fine you can always take it out and put it on to the next one too. So you wanna make sure the whole thing is nice and coated, otherwise it's gonna get dark brown. You stick it in your air fryer for about 10 minutes and this thing gets really crispy and brown and ends up looking wonderful. I think I put it on, um, 375 or three yeah 375 in there and then um basically i've got all these other ones too that i have that you can use um what i would do if i were you is i would take these and not actually if you're doing a meal prep i would not actually put your um meat and all that stuff in here I would actually put your meat and stuff inside the container is what I would probably think about doing and then that way um, your shell doesn't get so soggy in the refrigerator so what I would probably do is take this piece right here if it's still crispy is I would put it in a bag like a ziploc bag or something There we go, and that's that one. And then that way you have it somewhere and you're carrying it. Make sure you don't crunch it. Um, maybe even think about putting it in a big bowl to where it won't crunch for you. And then just pile on in all of your, your stuff. And ideally, you know, you could probably just use one of these because I don't know. I can only fit one of these in my air fryer at a time. And technically that is four of them, but we'll take one extra one just for good luck. Because you guys want to see what it looks like, right? And just look up tortilla, you know, shells. You could bake these too, I'm sure. They just won't be as like crispy, flaky, kind of like the ones are at um, like the Mexican restaurants, so that's the only thing. You can put whatever you want in them. And they just fold right in there really well. And then they end up being this crispy. shell that is really yummy. And you can use whatever kind of oil you want. Um, I'm using avocado oil today. 
but use whatever kind that makes you feel comfortable. You could use olive oil too. That would work. Alright, so I'll come back when all these are said and done. And I'll show you what they look like. Okay, so I'm going to make a quick and easy um, taco uh, meat to go underneath the, or on the tacos, uh, taco salad, sorry. Um, onion powder, garlic powder, cumin, Quinn powder. to do two cans. And for it to marinate, you want to add just a little bit of water. Just like you would if you did one of those packet seasoning thingies. You know, maybe on low for a little while. Just so that everything can seep into the meat. And get all nice and yummy. And ooey gooey. Take your taco shell and add all your fixings to it. And there you go, you got your taco salad that we made that was homemade today. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope you guys subscribe and thanks for watching all of our Food Aspire cooking videos. I hope this inspires you guys to do something wonderful in your life no matter what it is and inspire other people to do something wonderful in theirs. And I hope you guys make this one 
it is a yummy one. And thanks for all the wonderful comments. Um, there's just so many comments to go through lately. So I'm going to kind of, if you guys ask a question down below or anything else, you know, I'll kind of respond to that. Um, cause I do read all the comments just to let you know. Um, and, uh, I'll try to add any questions, you know, in the videos and stuff like that, that I come across, but, um, I'm probably not going to respond as much as I have been because I've been so busy, um, with getting all this stuff prepared and doing all these videos and working full time and all that fun stuff. So, um, but I'm still going to read the comments and I'm going to still say stuff back and forth to you guys. So don't worry. I'm still around, still talking back and forth. Um, please do subscribe. Please do hit that notification bell and give us some thumbs up. And I hope you guys inspired to do something wonderful in your life. And stay tuned for more great recipes and more great DIY. Have a wonderful rest of the week. Don't work too hard. And we'll see you next time for the Spire Home Garden.